Now your Fox Carolina first alert weather. Welcome back everyone 614 now the time here on your Monday morning. Welcome to August. Can you believe that already? flipping over to the month of August here. I know the kids who are going back to school today probably don't want to hear that, but uh, in any case, uh, yeah, summer marching on here for us as we roll into the new month. The afternoon period going to be slightly different than what we've gotten used to in recent weeks, but uh, as far as how things are starting this morning, uh, looking pretty familiar out there. It's 73 as we're waking up here at 6 o'clock hour in Spartanburg. Gaffney at 74 along with Lawrence, and uh, we got Anderson at 73. Greenville's at 76. Jump to the mountains. Asheville, Waynesville both at 69 degrees while Hendersonville starts your day at around 71 degrees. Humidity levels not dramatically different. First time I've seen a sub 70 dew point in at least a week and a half or so in Greenville and Spartanburg, but uh, we're still pretty close to that mark all the same, and we do expect the humidity levels to climb again here in the uh, coming uh, hours. On first alert radar here this morning, it's a blend of partly to mostly cloudy skies. There are some clearer patches around Greenville, Clemson, and uh, Anderson this morning, but cloudier skies in the mountains. Also beginning to see some new light showers breaking out in parts of Tennessee. Those are likely to spill over here into the mountains in the next uh, hour to hour and a half, so may have to contend with some wet areas on uh, some of our mountain roads this morning. And all of that is this fetch of moisture just continues to kind of funnel our way today. The result of now the fact that we're kind of sandwiched between two warm frontal boundaries here. We got one still draped over uh, parts of Kentucky into parts of West Virginia. Of course, rain is exactly what they don't need in parts of eastern Kentucky this morning following the flash flooding last week. And this frontal boundary you see back across Arkansas and Mississippi, the factors combined just helping to Keep the humidity uh, pumping into the area and keeping that chance in today uh, for more showers and some storms. So let's break it down. Six o'clock hour this morning as we uh, fast forward in time here to about eight o'clock. I will say I think some of the intensity here is being overstated, but alludes to the potential that we'll see some scattered showers and storms continue to develop off of those lighter ones that we were seeing in parts of Tennessee on radar just a moment ago. Either way, we expect some scattered showers and thunderstorms to kind of keep flaring up in parts of the mountains through midday and then some of that rain will tend to spill in across parts of the upstate into this afternoon. Depending on exactly how much develops this morning, the more we get in the front end of the day will tend to take away energy from what could redevelop this afternoon. So the uh, expectation here is that things will tend to start quieting down as we start to head into this afternoon and this evening. But any shower or storm that does develop today does have the potential to produce some localized flooding. In fact, our excessive rainfall risk or think of thought of it another way, a flash flooding risk for today is at a, a slightly higher level in parts of the mountains, but everyone could see a quick uh, again a hitting downpour or two that produces some localized flooding. So make sure you stay alert to the weather all day long as for at least one day here in the upstate. We see our high temperatures stay below 90 degrees. We'll go back to that mark quickly though from here on out with the same daily chances for showers and storms. We've been talking about for weeks continuing on into the weekend and in the mountains your highs in the 80s all week long. But as you can see, tending to heat up with those storm chances Tuesday, Wednesday as highs get closer to the middle and upper 80s.